Um, you know, I posted a picture of this bow yesterday. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Um, I've made some others, just kind of playing around um, with the colors. So let's get into first thing you need to do. You're going to be in your um, design space here. If you want to go to um, projects, all categories, and just put in the search and put in pebbled leather bow. And when you hit the search, this is what's going to come up. It's free to make. Um, it tells you what you're going to need. Uh, and you do need the hot glue gun, the strong grip mat, all of these items you do need. Um, I wouldn't say it takes 30 minutes, though. It's fairly easy to do. Um, so you're going to click make it. Um, and this is how you get this template. However, I will show you in just a minute how small the template they actually give you is. Um, you can see from the mat, it's very small, the layout of it. So I know you guys were asking me about sizes. I did several different sizes. Um, and what I did is over here, these are all the same. But if you come over here, what I did is... I made them first out of paper um, with cardstock, and this this one actually is uh, made with the leather, but this is the template size. You guys see how small this is? This is one of the bigger bows that you guys have seen in the pictures. So look at the size comparison here. They are very much different in size. So if you want a small bow, you can use the regular template. Um, otherwise you want to hit customize and just play with the size a little bit. I will tell you this little one is very hard to work with as far as when you get into attaching things. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that in here in just a second. Um, but I did, I made a few different sizes with cardstock and you see these just have staples in them. It's just simple cardstock just so I could kind of practice and get the hang of things before I, um, actually do it with my fox leather it's it's not expensive but you don't want to waste it um so let's come back over here to our design okay so we're back at our design space okay i've already gotten the bigger size my daughter has a, a lot of hair so i need a bigger bow for her head um i already know i don't want to use a little one so i know that with the the sheet that i've gotten at hobby lobby I can make two bows per sheet comfortably on here. So what I'm going to do is I want to duplicate what I've made. And I'll show you the sizes. For the ribbon part, I made it about, let's see, it's almost two inches high. And wide, it's about nine inches, a little over nine inches. Okay, so just play with your sizes. You'll find one that you like. Play with the cardstock. Um, the outer bow here, it's about two, almost two and a half inches tall by five and a half inches wide, a little more. Okay. And then the ribbon, the middle part, which you'll see what you need that for. D make sure don't make this too short. You could even make this longer, um, and it's trim. You could trim it. You want to make this too long than too short. Um, that's what I was, this you'll see. What I was explaining about the smaller bow, how this actual piece is very hard to work with because you can't wrap it around the actual hair piece. Um, I know, like I said, that I want to make four, four piece, or I'm sorry, it'll actually be six pieces total because there's three for each bow. So I want to duplicate each of these pieces. So I'm just going to right click and hit duplicate. Okay, I'm going to bring it down, down here. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing for this. I'm just going to right click and hit duplicate. Okay, and I'm going to do the same for this one. I want to duplicate them all. Okay, and you just, I just, I don't, I just randomly place them. Okay, so next I'm going to hit make it. Okay, so I've got my mat. I've gotten everything that I want to get on here. You do need to use your purple strong grip mat. And you want to make sure and press it down firmly so that when you get it up under the blade, it doesn't peel it up. I am using a regular blade. I didn't change anything out special for this project. Um, so I know where my measurements are. I'm going to go ahead and place this on my mat as evenly as I can. And I'm going to press it down really, really good. And I want to make sure and get all my edges very, very, very well. 
even down here at the bottom even though it shouldn't go that far i just want to make sure that and you can even get the end of one of your tools everybody has the cricut tools and just kind of rub along the edges just so it adheres really good to your mat even if you want to do it this way it's not going to mess it up okay so we've gotten it stuck i want to make sure okay so we're going to go ahead and load it in okay now i'm going to hit i do have my dial on custom okay and I'll show you when in the menu pops up here, we're gonna hit continue. We're gonna let my device connect. Okay, if you look right here, it pops right up. I don't even have to click the full menu. It's gonna come up right here. And you're just gonna click this and you're done. That's the only thing you need to change. And then you're ready to hit your Cricut button and start your cut. Now, if you see it come up a little bit on the corners, just trying to push it down. Um, it shouldn't peel up a whole lot. Um, I've done a lot of glitter stuff this morning, so my mat does have a whole lot on it. So while that's cutting, I'm going to turn my glue gun on so that it is warm and ready to use by the time uh, my bows are done cutting. We're just about there. And then I will show you guys how to attach them. Okay, so I'm weeding my bows. And this material weeds pretty easily. I do, I am glad this end one got stuck. I do want to explain something. Do not, I know it's very easy just to say, Hey, I'm going to pull it, and I did that on purpose because I want you to see. Don't do that because what it's going to do is it's going to already make it fray, okay? I'm actually going to get my scissors when we get over to the other um, part, and I'm going to cut that back off. But don't pull them. Just cut them, snip them with your scissors because it's going to fray it, and it's going to make the bow look ugly. So, okay, so I've weeded that, and I've got my pieces here. Um, I did cut out six pieces. For each bow, you only need three. Um, again, this is the template if you do use, if you do not customize and make theirs bigger, this is what you're going to get. This is with the one that I like. So we're going to make that one. I just want you to see the size difference. Okay. So the first step that you're going to do is turn this one over and it kind of looks like a pair of sunglasses. You're going to take some glue and just dab some glue here in the middle. You're going to make this end meet here and you're just gonna push it down. I like to use this little gator clip and I'm gonna show you what these are for here in just a second. But I like to use it to push it down because this hot glue, it does tend 